Okay, so at this stage um, in Gravit you would have created a login and now we're going to start a new design. So you can simply do this by clicking start now on the home page and we're going to select print, paper size and you're going to go down to A4 and it creates itself. Um, the very first thing we're going to do is going to put on our grid. So what we need to go, do is go to view, canvas and show grid. So as we know in planner metric, with these squares here, if we zoom in, um, if you go directly halfway between the squares, this is 45 degrees. Okay, so that allows us to draw in planner metric. So the first thing you need to do before drawing anything, any objects of your kitchen onto your page, is simply pick a starting point and we're going to draw the height, okay? So to draw a straight line, simply use your pen tool, click once, hold shift, and then click again, and we have our straight line. And so our walls are all the same height, we're simply going to copy and paste this same line, so Command C and Command V. Um, what it's gonna do is post it in exactly the same place, so you can drag that up to the side, Command C, Command V, and we're going to drag that off to the side as well. Okay, so to draw our base, we're simply going to go to the same point of this one here. And what you need to do before connecting the dots is click the letter D on your keyboard, and you'll see this will give us a white mouse. You can also select it up here. That allows you to select this line and that way we can hook on to this anchor point here. So now we click P to get our pen tool and we can simply click on this point and we are connected. Then all we need to do is hold shift and draw at an angle. If we're holding shift, it draws perfectly at a 45 degree angle and that is our uh, planometric angle that we need to be drawing at. So let's go however far you like Let's go to here and click P again. Um, if you keep going, and what you can do, if we can see we want this directly at the same point, you can hold on these rulers here and pull out a guide and it will lock exactly into the same point here. Then we have that guide to draw to, okay? So I'm going to put that guide in and I'm going to do the same from the top here to lock a guide so I can get my point on the right hand side at exactly the same point. So we've got these two guides in. Um, if your rulers aren't on, you simply go to view, canvas and show rulers. Okay. So again, to start off our anchor point, what we need to do, press the letter D, get our white mouse select this line here, press P to get our pen tool, and then we can hook on at the same point. Again, see this is without me holding shift. If I hold shift, perfect 45 degrees. Shift again, there we go. And there we have our base layer. Then with these lines, all we need to do is simply drag these and put them on the same point here. Now we've got all the same vertical heights and all we need to do is simply press D to select our line, P to get the pen tool, click on the anchor point and if we're holding shift it should take us to the exact point. Same with this one, press the letter D, select this line and click P on this one here and holding shift. Now we've got our kitchen room to work with. <clears throat> so again, when it comes to um, drawing anything, so let's say a cupboard on the left here, let's get our heights first. So we've got the perfect height of what we want our line, so we copy and paste this line. And then however high we want it, or the width we want our cupboard. What you'll do is simply draw a line out from this point, holding shift. So let's say we want it that width. 
we can copy and paste this one. We don't need to actually because we've got this line here. All you simply need to do is place this line on correct point. Command C, Command V. And so we've got still got that line spare. We're going to start from this exact point. Hold Shift, and we've got our width there. There we go. And then from we see the top points are empty, we need to select this top point. Um, but we can see that was off then because I didn't have it quite on. There we go. Same for this one. If we hold D, pen tool, hold shift, and same with the middle point here. Click on this starting point, hold shift. And there we go, we have a cupboard drawn in isometric. So then all we need to do, for example, if you've got cupboard doors, we could draw a line down the middle. And to get, you simply press escape to leave your line there in order to draw a new line. And then if we hold shift, we're drawing across 45 degrees and we're dragging down. So now you see we fully have the cupboard doors drawn onto this object here. So what I want you to do is have a go and imagining drawing your own kitchen in here. Um, make sure to think about the width of things and the height of things to be able to fit in this isometric or planometric space. Sorry. So if I had said isometric before, it's definitely planometric that we're drawing in because we can see this space here between the horizontal and our point is 45 degrees in here and we can see the same is in this space here and the same with each object. The space between the bottom line here and the little gap in between is 45 degrees. Okay, so for the next two lessons um, you'll have a go at customizing your own kitchen. And then, last step, make sure you go to save. Um, I can't save at the moment because there's something wrong with my internet, but you can simply save and we'll, it will save onto your account and it will be up the top here next time you start. Okay?